Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to TeamBowens.com. I'm Tony Corbell. And you know, once again, we're answering these Q&As, these questions that come in from the blog post. And we do try to respond to the ones that come in most frequently. Um, and this is a great question today. This is from Samantha in St. Louis, Missouri. And she asks, are umbrellas actually very useful or is it just something that comes free with the kits? <laughs> and that's a great question and a great way to put it, Samantha. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have much use for umbrellas for a long time until I started doing big group photography. And what I learned about umbrellas is that uh, umbrellas are a real unique light source. And, and once they're understood and once you've tested them a little bit, what you'll find is umbrellas are really, really helpful. If you're in a small studio and you were trying to control light, an umbrella would not be your light of choice. And when I, and I talk about umbrellas, I do mean the reflective either white lined or silver lined reflective umbrellas, not a shoot through umbrella. Um, but I think that they, you'll find that they are not controllable very easily in the studio. But here's what they do really, really well. They send light everywhere. If you're doing a large group, uh, if I'm doing a group of, for example, 100 people, I just recently photographed a whole team down at Kelby, uh, Kelby One in Florida, and we had 100 people in the group shot, and we lit that with five, six umbrellas let the entire group with six umbrellas. You can't do that with any other six individual light sources. Um, they also are really, really good at creating a bank of light. So I can, I can huddle together three or four umbrellas on light stands, you know, with, with the strobes and have them just sort of touching each other and create one big, large bank of light. Uh, they're really, really useful. Uh, and, and again, like I say, anytime you need light to spread over a large area, they are the go-to light source. So they're, they're almost a magical light in that there's a couple of things they don't do very well, but there's a lot of stuff they do really, really well. And the great thing about them is it's really easy to use them. You can kind of just point them in the general direction and they're going to hit the subject. <laughs> you don't have to be, it's not a pinpoint surgical strike with those guys. Just get them close. And what you'll find is that they're, they're really, really useful. The good news is umbrellas come with almost, well, I guess they do come with all of the Gemini lighting kits, all the Bowens lighting kits. Uh, and that's kind of standard across the industry. Most lights do come with umbrellas. And don't just dismiss them and put them aside because they came free with the kit. Pull them out, test with them, and use them. I've come up with a new thing that I'll talk about in a future blog post that I'm calling Tony's Twin Lighting. And it sounds like a ridiculous name, but I came up with a, a concept where I'm using twin umbrella lights behind my subject in the studio, aimed directly at each other, perpendicular, and those lights are firing off and lighting, both of them are lighting the background, and they're lighting the subject's shoulders and hair all at the same time. So they turn out to be very, very uh, useful tools for me. So I use them all the time, and, and uh, don't, don't dismiss them just because they come in the kit. Hope that's helpful. Folks, thanks again for all the questions. Keep them coming. Uh, if you want to type in and write me a question, you know I'll respond to them. Uh, but again, thanks for checking out uh, TeamBowens.com. And again, check out our Bowens TV uh, channel over at YouTube.com. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.